10 Things You Didn't Know About Nollywood Nigeria is the most populous African country, colored with numerous ethnic groups, as well as languages. With a happiness rate of 5.5 points out of 10, Nigerians are considered the second most happy people in Africa, just after Mauritius. Being the most ethnic diverse, creative and talented people has implied a thriving movie industry, through which Nigeria is shown in all its glory. The Nigerian movie industry is called Nollywood, and despite the millions of Nigerian movies which have been made and award-winning actors it has produced, there is still a lot that is unknown about Nigeria's and Africa's pride, Nollywood. Hello, Desplorers. Welcome to another informative video presented to you by Desplor. In this video, we shall look at 10 things you didn't know about Nollywood. The Nigerian movie industry has moved from a little-known cinematography experiment and homemade movies by filmmakers into a global brand due to wider acceptability of the movies and increasing professionalization in the industry. But right from its name to many aspects of Nollywood, the industry is still a little bit of a mystery, which is why in this video, we hope to shine your eye on the industry and we hope that we don't fall your hand at all. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Number 1. The name Nollywood originated from a New York Times article. The origin of the term Nollywood remains unclear, as the earliest usage of the word can be traced to a 2002 article by Matt Stinglass in the New York Times, where it was used to describe Nigerian cinema. Charles Igwe noted that Norimitsu Onishi also used the name in a September 2002 article he wrote for the New York Times. The term continues to be used in the media to refer to the Nigerian film industry, with its definition later resumed to a combination of the words Nigeria and Hollywood, the American major film herb. There is no clear definition on how a Nigerian film has to be in order to be referred to as Nollywood. Some stakeholders have constantly expressed their disagreement over the term, given reasons such as the fact that the term was coined by a foreigner, as such, another form of imperialism. It has also been argued that the term is an imitation of what was already in existence, Hollywood, rather than an identity in itself that is original and uniquely African. Number 2. The first recorded movie was Congi's Harvest. Historically, Latola Films was the first and earliest film production company in Nigeria, which started movie production as far back as 1962. However, Carl Penny Nigeria Limited spearheaded the production of the first Nigerian indigenous feature movie, Congi's Harvest, in 1970, which was based on a play written by Wole Soyinka. But in terms of the movie that opened the market, and showed that a video-based industry was possible was Okechuku Ogonjofo's film, Living in Bondage. This has been described as the inaugural Nollywood film, according to Jonathan Hines, whose book entitled Hollywood, The Creation of Nigerian Film Genres in 2018, is considered Nigerian film industry magnum opus. Number 3. Nollywood has three sub-industries. Filmmaking in Nigeria is divided largely along regional, marginally ethnic, and religious lines, who seek to portray the concern of the particular section and ethnicity it represents. Given the diversity of Nollywood and its variety, the industry is divided into three sub-industries, which are the Nigerian cinema, Ghanaian English language cinema, and Nollywood USA. The Nigerian cinema includes the English language film industry, which is the melting pot for filmmaking, the Yoruba language cinema, and the Hausa industry, or Kaniwood. The Yoruba language cinema practitioners are mostly in the western region of Nigeria, who started as far back as the mid-1960s, while the Hausa language cinema, or Kaniwood, is mainly based in Kano. Over the years, the term Nollywood has been used to refer to other affiliate film industries, 
such as the Ghanaian English language cinema, thanks to distribution and producing collaborations. Furthermore, over the years, due to the high cost of film production in Nigeria, Nigerian filmmakers have been forced to make films outside Lagos in order to cut costs, mirroring the exodus of filmmaking in Hollywood from Los Angeles to cities like Toronto and Albuquerque, a phenomenon known as runaway production. This development has created a sort of merger between the Nigerian and Ghanaian film industry, hence most English-language Ghanaian films also started answering the tag Nollywood. Nollywood USA is a broad term that is used to refer to Nigerian films made in the diaspora. Number 4. Nollywood currently employs more than 1 million people. Nollywood is a major employer of labor as the industry attracts and engages an array of professionals, technicians and tradesmen such as actors, producers, directors, cameramen, lighting experts, costume makers, caterers, makeup artists, location managers, studio managers, copywriters, gaffers, photographers, beauticians, screenplay writers, language experts, and so much more. Although it may be difficult to estimate accurately how many of each of the personnel is directly engaged by the industry, the multiplier effect of payment and receipts, namely fees, taxes, royalties, commissions and honoraria, wages and salaries that circulate within the industry contributes immensely to sectorial and aggregate national income and productivity levels. As a result, Nolly will account for about 5% of Nigeria's GDP, whose total value is about $500 billion. A breakdown of the statistics shows that the industry rakes in about $700 million annually, with producers spending between $50,000 and $200,000 or even more to produce a standard movie. Number 5. Nollywood is bigger than Hollywood. The industry produces about 50 movies weekly, which translates to an average figure of 2,500 movies annually. The movies are produced in the space of one month and are profitable within two to three weeks of release. The average Nollywood movie is produced in the span of 7 to 10 days on a budget between $7,500 to $13,000. Compare this to Hollywood's average budget of $6.7 million per movie and one year production time. According to Al Jazeera, Nollywood was priced $5.1 billion in 2014 and produced more movies than Hollywood in the United States, but not more than Indian Bollywood. Just the Nigerian cinema subsection is estimated to be the biggest in Africa by the end of 2021. It is estimated that box office revenue will increase steadily, as total cinema revenue is set to reach $22 million in 2021, making it Africa's biggest. Number 6. Nollywood's Highest Grossing Movies and Directors Ensuring the continuous growth of Nollywood, involves very sustainable policies and strategies, which has included numerous Nollywood film schools to train those already involved in the industry as well as newcomers to perfect their craft. Almost all top actors and actresses are establishing their own film schools in order to give back to the community by training passionate actors and actresses. Some of those who have opened acting schools include Tohin Aimako, Funke Akindele Sinwan, Muyiwa Ademola, Femi Adebayo, Idris Aloma, Odunlade Adekola, and many others. As a result of this, Nollywood has produced many box office top earning movies. Some of these have broken series of records in domestic gross earnings, even setting new ones. The top five movies that have hit an all time high include The Wedding Party 2, The Wedding Party, Chief Daddy, King of Boys, and Merry Men. With heavyweight movies such as these, you can be sure some heavyweight producers and directors are behind them. Some of the most renowned new elite movie directors with sensational box office hit movies include Kemi Adetiba, Tope Oshin, Ni Akin Mulayan, Kunle Afolayan, and Tade Ogidan.
Number 7. Top Nollywood Production Companies and Earning Actors A movie industry as large as Nollywood definitely implies that the production companies involved are in hundreds. But some of these production companies have distinguished themselves in the Nigerian movie industry when it comes to movie production, high-grossing and award-winning movies over the past years. These include Ebony Life TV, Ebony Life Films, Corporate World Entertainment Limited, the Anako Film Stroke Ink Blood Production, Play Entertainment Network, The Only Visions, Film One, Sin One TV, Kemi Aditiba Visuals, and Golden Effects. A blossoming industry as such has produced not only many celebrities, but also top earning ones such as Fals, Richard Murphy Damijo, Osas Igodaro, Tony Tones, Zainab Balogun, Funke Akindale, Ademola Adedoyin, Jim Ike, and Ramsey Noir. The average earnings per movie by popular Nollywood actors range between $2,000 and $5,000, but some actors claim higher earnings per movie. Number 8. Nollywood pirates are richer than any other group of pirates in the world. Nollywood is an industry which produces movies which are appealing to people of all backgrounds and cultures around the world. Sadly, the love and taste for its products have led to many pirates who are selling bootleg copies for a fraction of its retail price. With the millions, work, time and talent poured into bringing one project to life, it's heartbreaking to know that those who benefit from this hard work are pirates. Some go as far as combine over 20 films on a DVD disc which is sold for pure water prizes. And sadly, most people in Africa get the pirated copies and not the originals. This makes the pirate groups to be richer than every other pirate in the world. Despite several campaigns launched by actors, producers and other stakeholders, it's quite unfortunate that curbing the problem is still a major challenge. Number 9. Nollywood cares a lot about moral lessons. Another fact about Nollywood you must know is that Nollywood stories go hand in hand with moral lessons. Unlike Hollywood and sometimes Bollywood, which makes numerous fictitious movies just for entertainment with no moral lesson, no cultural attachment, Nollywood always considers the moral lessons of most of its movies. This is why we have come to associate some of Nollywood actions with certain themes such as love, pain, anger, and wickedness. Mamaji is synonymous to evil in most movies, and Ramzi Noir is often associated with love. A bad guy never goes free in Nigerian films, no matter how powerful, rich, intelligent, or smart you are. The police will always get you on the ground one day. The good will always catch the bad boss or bad landlord one day and the witch must confess one day too. Number 10. Nollywood is ripe for the Oscars. Nollywood industry is global, and Nollywood films are available through Amazon, Distrify, and Iroko TV. The depth of the Nigerian film industry is clear in the range of topics explored in their films, and its influence extends way beyond Africa, as numerous platforms are gaining interest in it. Besides several African film festivals and awards which celebrate Nollywood films, for the first time in 2015, Nollywood movies were eligible for consideration in the Oscars. Ahead of the 2015 Oscars, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences approved a 12-man committee of Nollywood stakeholders, the Nigerian Oscar Selection Committee, to consider Nigerian entries for the world's most prestigious awards for films. Each year, countries with an approved selection committee may submit one film for consideration for the Foreign Language Film Award Oscar, and out of all these international submissions, five films are chosen for academy members to cast their votes and choose a winning foreign language film. Also in 2018, Nollywood's Lion Hat was the first Netflix original Nollywood movie, and since then, many more have followed suit. There you have it, the Explorers. Those were 10 things you didn't know about Nollywood. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe 
and share with your friends.